Hey guys, Josh with Working Man's Reads. Today I'm here with a book review, but first off, I want to say thank you for my hundredth subscribers. I am at 103 as the taping of this video is occurring. Wow, that was not English, but I'm very thankful. I'm very appreciative. Thank you guys so much. This is crazy. And what else can I say? You guys are amazing. So to commemorate this, I would like to do a Q&A as my next video. So please, some of you guys have already done that from the previous video, but please leave a question down below. It could be bookish, it could be music related, it could be whatever you want. Just ask me a question down below and I will be happy to answer it and I'm excited. I'm looking forward to that. But today I am reviewing The Magpie Coffin by Wiley Young by Death's Head Press. And uh, this is just great. I, if you guys haven't seen this cover, now you have. And it is sick. And uh, <laughs> you don't get much manlier or badassery, or if that's a word. You don't get heavier than this. It was pretty fun. It was, it was, it was a lot of fun. I've never ha read a splatter western. I can say that I've read a western before. I've actually read three if this counts. But this is definitely more horror than traditional western. <laughs> but it is an awesome idea to, I don't know if he, he was the first to do it, but it was an awesome idea to incorporate horror elements into a western. It brings a freshness, it brings a uniqueness, and I will be reading more splatter westerns. I actually have, I actually ordered, and I have the next one. So these are just gonna look great up on the shelf, you know. They're gonna look nice. Just one, two, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but we're here to talk about the Magpie Coffin. This is what got it started for me, and I will continue on. Like like Brad said, I'll probably own them all, and they'll be on my shelf. So, <laughs> let's read this. Well, let me give you my thoughts real quick. So, my quick synopsis and enjoyment level was through the roof on this one. Uh, you basically drop in with a gentleman. His name is Salem. And he is kind of an unstoppable force. I don't want to give anything away. There will not be no spoilers. But he's kind of an unstoppable force. He is uh, a, a gentleman who basically he cannot be killed by normal means. And uh, back then, obviously, that's shooting. So he is a man bent on bringing down the world, basically. He is... In the first chapter, you find out that his mentor, who is a Native American, was killed. And basically, you follow Salem on a revenge tour through the West. And it gets gruesome, it gets gory, and it gets exciting. So feel free to check that one out. I'm going to read the synopsis on the back now. But this is a 5 out of 5 star book for me. I really enjoyed it. So here's the synopsis. The, the year is 1875, and outlaw Salem Covington has spent the last 20 years collecting stories, possessions, and lives. Nicknamed the Black Magpie for his exploits during the war, Salem has carved a bloody trail across the western territories. Informed that his mentor, Comanche shaman Dead Bear, has been murdered, he vows vengeance on the perpetrators, enlisting the help of an army scout and preserving the body of his mentor in a specially made coffin. Salem sets out pursuit, for, but the choices of Salem's past that earned him the moniker Black Magpie are riding hard behind him, and the only weapon that can kill him might not be as far away as he thinks. The Black Magpie is an unrelenting tale of revenge with precise brutality and extreme violence. Could not agree more. That is an awesome synopsis on the back. It doesn't give you too much, but it does. It, it keeps you. It gives you what you need to know. So it is a revenge tour. There is two guns basically that were given to two gentlemen, Salem and another person, and basically that gun is the only gun that can kill him. Any other weapon, being a sawed-off shotgun, a pistol, anything, cannot kill him. So he is extremely powerful. But to prove the writing of Wiley Young, I actually really enjoyed his writing. This is a... Uh, Basically, my favorite line that was really early on, it gives no spoilers, but it was just really cool. It was a uh, David and Goliath reference. So, 
Then he was on me. We were rolling in the dirt. He was big. I could smell whiskey on his breath. In another life, he would have roared at the Lord's people and waited for a shepherd boy to come and lay him down. But there weren't any shepherd boys here today, just me, and I could do better than slings and stones. I just, <laughs> I love that line. That was pretty sick. It was good writing. It was exciting. Great scenes. Go check this one out.